Hi everyone, it has been a really long time since I last uploaded. I just checked my last upload and it was from 78 days ago. A lot has happened since then. I have not taken a break from YouTube for that long ever. And it was definitely not a planned break. I made like a couple of videos about kind of like the direction of my channel changing and just between that and some life changes that were happening, I just was not prioritizing, you know, filming, makeup, and uploading. I wasn't planning on filming today, actually. I just kind of got the urge to finally sit down and film and kind of let you guys know what's been happening. But yeah, I'm gonna clip my hair up in like this like that just because that gives me some volume and pretty much right after i'm done doing my makeup i am going to be going to do somebody else's makeup i don't know how long you've been following me or if you remember this from not last year but the year before um my daddy went into cardiac arrest and he's fine my parents are actually in amsterdam right now taking their first trip on their own like without you know the family or like a work-related trip they're actually like on vacation but my mom ended up becoming really good friends with the icu nurse that took care of my dad and it's her daughter's prom today so i'm doing her makeup for prom i was actually supposed to do her makeup last year for prom but i ended up getting covid like that friday before so i was not able to do it then but i'm just going in with the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation so you might notice i'm in like a totally different location justin and i actually moved we moved in i think like mid february and it happened really fast actually we definitely were wanting to move we really loved the house that we were living in before and we did have a roommate who is a really good friend of ours, but you know, like as a couple living with a roommate, it was just getting old. You know, our rent was really cheap, so that was obviously very nice. And again, we really loved the house as well, but Justin and I were just on Zillow all the time, like 24 seven, and this house popped up that was pretty much in our price range. It had been listed for literally a minute and I contacted them immediately. It had like a three bedroom, two bath with a fence and a yard. So yeah, it was a, like perfect for us. And it looked like a really new build as well. So like it was checking all the boxes. We jumped on it super, super quick. And I'm pretty sure the timeline was like, we saw it on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. We went to go look at it on a Sunday and then that Thursday we got the keys. Yeah, it just was very sudden. I'm just going to go ahead and list all of the products that I use down below because I'm just going to be talking the whole time. I don't wanna to stop to tell you all what I'm using, but I will show you an update on my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I'm still working my way through it. I have a couple of like project pan updates that I definitely want to do because I actually finished a couple of things. So yeah, I, I feel like an update should be coming. But yeah, the moving process was really easy. Justin rented a U-Haul, so that was, you know, great and easy. We pretty much were able to move like all of our stuff all at once. And then my favorite part was getting to find everything that we needed on Facebook Marketplace. I did so well on Facebook. So we came with a couch and a rug and pretty much our office furniture. Like I didn't really get anything new from my office except for this little desk that I'm sitting on right now or I'm using right now. But we upgraded our bed frame. We were on a full before with a queen mattress. It was just like a platform bed, so it worked for, you know, the time being. But we definitely wanted to upgrade to an actual queen size frame when we move. So I was able to find like a new inbox frame on Facebook. I feel like naturally I'm just gonna wanna talk about the products, but I have been using the Euphoria BYO blush in But Tonight. Anytime I wear makeup, pretty much. Really, these past few months haven't been wearing makeup too often. I've just been really busy. And yeah, I just haven't been wearing makeup that, that often, but every single time I do my makeup, it comes to be blush time and I'm like, oh, what should I use, what should I use? Nothing, nothing in my collection is more appealing than my Euphoria BYO blush. But anyway, I did so well on Facebook. 
We got our bed frame, I got nightstands, we got a coffee table, we got bar stools, we got a bar, and yeah, I just did so well on Facebook. I kind of want to do a video showing you guys all of my Facebook Marketplace furniture finds. But yeah, the move was definitely the big one. And for me, I have a difficult time with change. You know, I love this house. It honestly is really perfect. And Justin and I kind of do go back and forth on whether we would want to renew our lease. I feel like I need a higher chair. But yeah, I struggle with change. I've always kind of struggled with change. And before in our old house, I really, really enjoyed it. I pretty much grew up in the area that our old house was in. So I was only like 10 minutes away from my parents. I knew where everything was. I shopped at like the same grocery store. Yeah, I was just very comfortable in the previous area, which I'm fine with. Like. I know some people are desperate to get out of their hometown and I mean it might make it might make a difference that I wasn't really born here. I was born in South Florida and my parents moved us to North Carolina when I was nine. So I tell people I grew up in North Carolina, but yeah, I am a little dramatic and like I said, I don't really love change that much and I struggled being a little bit further away from my parents. Like, this is going to sound really dramatic, but I went from being 10 minutes away from my parents to 30 minutes away from my parents, and that just feels, it still feels like so much. Like, Justin and I drove to my parents last night because I needed to get more kitten formula. I am pet sitting for my mom, basically. My mom does a lot of, like, cat rescue stuff, and TNR and she had a bottle baby that doesn't have family and I actually have two bottle babies now because the one that my mom had just needed a friend and my mom was like oh we can wait till you know we get back to pick that one up but I was like I don't know kittens develop so quickly and I feel like every day counts in a kitten's development so yeah if there were two babies out there that needed each other you know I'm fine taking care of two of them. It's really not been that much work. But anyway, yes, I needed a new formula. So we had to drive to my parents' house yesterday and it just felt so far away. To like other people, people live hours from their parents. But for me, uh, yeah, I was struggling with that a lot. A lot, a lot. Like there was one day where I just like sort of bawling because I just felt so far away from my mom and Yes, I know that that is dramatic, but it is just how I was feeling. One thing that is nice is we are a little bit closer to Charlotte now, or I mean, we're a lot bit closer to Charlotte. Like our address is a Charlotte address and we can get to, you know, the actual city. Like we can get to uptown really quickly, like 10, 15 minutes. Justin and I are not people who go out and do things. So yeah, maybe we can become people that go out and do things, but we're big homebodies and we really love the house. We really love the home. So, you know, overall I am very, very happy and obviously very happy with our decision to move. I'm, I love not living with a roommate. Obviously we are still good friends with our old roommate and you know that will never change but i feel like we had a lot of good memories and it was like overall a really nice experience getting to live with our roommate it's been really great for the dogs too i kind of felt like the dogs would need a little bit of an adjustment period but honestly they i think really enjoy the house too i almost feel like everyone's like a little bit more relaxed too in our old house we had like a chain link fence and our roommate had a dog but the dog obviously didn't sleep with us like it slept with our roommate and i feel like molly and oscar which is the dog's name um molly and oscar they got along really well like they were really really good friends but i think that all of the dogs struggled with the fact that oscar wasn't really a part of like our pack i just feel like the dogs are so much more relaxed now the chain link fence like molly would patrol and she could just see like everything that was going on in the neighborhood so she was very busy in the yard and she would bark all the time and she still barks and she still definitely barks but 
We have like a taller privacy fence now. She still enjoys going out in the backyard and everything, but she is not, she is not patrolling like she used to. And even Wilma, if there was a dog coming like down the road and she saw them, Wilma, she would charge after them. It was bad for everyone. Cause like I wouldn't be able to get her. She was causing a scene. The other dogs would want to come see her. And that is one thing about our old neighborhood is we were very friendly with our neighbors. Like we really, really enjoyed our neighbors, which that was another thing that was really sad. Like I was really, really sad and emotional about leaving our old house, but you know, we outgrew it that period, but it was very sad leaving. But at the same time, Justin and I are really enjoying it. We're enjoying, you know, having our own space and I love the house. Like I think that it is really perfect, but kind of experiencing this bigger change, I was going through kind of a lot like emotionally and I've also been working a lot more, like a lot more is expected of me through my job at the moment. I feel like I did my makeup so fast. Just adding some powder blush now. I feel like my look is a little glam, so. But kind of like with these bigger changes and being expected of a little bit more at my job, I was just kind of going through it a bit and I knew I needed to make a doctor's appointment like for a regular checkup, like it had been a while since my last one and when I had my physical I was just so extremely emotional I pretty much cried the entire appointment and we had to actually reschedule me for my actual physical because I was just really just so upset the whole time just like talking about my experiences, like my current experiences and experiences in the past. I actually spoke to my doctor about possibly having ADHD and wanting to maybe get tested for that. And just kind of my feelings of like depression and anxiety that I was feeling and that I've felt in the past. But you know, for me, I feel like I can go through periods of time where things are obviously going well and I'm overall happy and then there are times where I'm just like not feeling good and I feel like that is a normal thing just being human but I kind of explained to her that you know there's been times in my life where I have been jobless and I feel like you know having a job is a good way to hold myself accountable and get me out of the house or get me busy get me doing things but there's been periods of my life where I don't have a job and I'm not working and I can be in bed all day for multiple days in a row. Um, yes, like I can get myself showered and brush my teeth, take care of the dogs, but I am back in bed immediately, which, you know, I always kind of thought that was just, you know, kind of just something I did, something, you know, just me. Um, but also like I really struggle during the day with tiredness and I usually can't go a day without taking a nap and just overall too i have struggles focusing and staying focused having something hold my attention especially with work related things i do overall really enjoy my job i work for an online clothing boutique and i enjoy you know like the creative aspects of it i enjoy my boss quite a bit but yeah she actually enrolled me in a like google e-commerce and marketing class and it had brought up a lot of negative feelings about my past and like school in the past for me. And I would just sit there and like watch these little lectures and be like, why can't I retain or focus on anything that this person is saying? And it would be like, I would sit down to finally do the class, I would be putting it off and I would sit down to finally do it and then I would be thinking about a million other things that I could be doing or convincing myself that I can multitask and like paint my nails while I do it or like clean up my room while I watch these video while I watch these videos and then especially to like reading the text for the course I just couldn't do it like I have really poor reading comprehension, especially when it comes to like, you know, things that I'm not really finding super interesting or I'm just like that I'm not, not that I'm not finding it interesting, but I was just struggling so much with 
you know, watching these lectures and these readings and then having to do everything else to, um, you know, like the social media creatives and posting and coming up with ideas. And it was just kind of like, wow, like, I cannot believe I'm still dealing with these things as an adult. Like I haven't been in class in a really long time and and yeah, just kind of that experience brought up a lot of things that I used to experience when I was in school. And my sister actually has ADHD. She was she was diagnosed with it a couple of years ago. And from my research, I also know it's not like confirmed, but it can definitely run in families. I strongly believe my mom has it and she also believes that as well. So it was just kind of one of those things where, you know, I was experiencing all of these things and I was doing some research and just figured, I think it's time to maybe address this and see if I have ADHD as well. And then, you know, with all of the other things that were happening, like all of these changes that were happening and I was very, very emotional and I just knew that it was time to really tackle my mental health. So yes, I went to my like primary care doctor and had that visit and I, was crying the entire time but I really did like share my story with her and just you know all of these experiences and she ended up writing me a referral for a psychiatrist and I am very 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 lucky because I know that that is a very difficult process for people to you know get that referral see a psychiatrist you know find someone to talk to and get diagnosed but I feel like my experience was very, very fast. So I'm extremely grateful for that. I have no idea how that ended up working out. I, you know, just went to my primary care doctor that I have been seeing since I was 19. My primary care doctor wrote me a referral for a psychiatrist and told me that I needed to find a therapist, whether, you know, like my parents find the therapist for me or I find one, I just need to start speaking to someone, which I totally agreed with. And I especially agreed with that, like, even a week after my appointment because pouring all of that out to my doctor and just like how I've been feeling, what's been going on, I felt physically like a weight had been lifted off of my shoulders even a week after I did that. So I just knew like, yes, like I think it is absolutely time for me to finally speak to a therapist. I had, there's been multiple points in my life where I've Felt like I really really should so I think I waited about a week for a psychiatrist to contact me about making an appointment um, or I guess like their office contacting me to make an appointment I was so nervous for that appointment just because you know like these things were not new to me like these were not new feelings to me I have been I've I've felt this way like my entire life and actually when I was younger like I really struggled through school and I think I was probably like first second grade or something we were still living in Florida I was tested for dyslexia I'm not dyslexic so you know after they determined I wasn't dyslexic they ended up not doing any other learning disability testing on me which is really unfortunate I feel like young girls go unnoticed for learning disabilities all the time just because that research isn't done on young girls it's done on young boys and kind of like those stereotypes that we see in boys we don't see them in girls so they go unnoticed but anyway I went through my school career struggling um and actually something that i was reflecting on and kind of only just now realized was i never put myself in the position to be challenged so when it came time for me to like start picking my classes i think you kind of do that around middle school definitely high school i never picked classes that would challenge me i always picked classes that i knew would be you know a little bit easier and that i knew i was capable of doing never anything that would challenge me um in high school i went to a magnet school that did teacher prep as like one of their academies they had a different career academies and i was part of the teacher prep academy you know i liked kids i really enjoyed babysitting i thought maybe i wanted to be a teacher at some point and then when it came time to go to a four-year college, which I did, I do have a degree, 
I didn't choose a major that was new to me. I ended up doing elementary education even though I knew that I didn't want to be a teacher at that time because I knew it would be a big challenge to me. But I still, you know, went through the process not being really challenged at all. And yeah, that was something that I had reflected on and kind of only just now realized that I really never put myself in situations that would challenge me. I only applied to colleges that I knew I would get into. I only have ever applied to jobs that I knew I would also get into. So yeah, that was kind of an interesting realization for me. And when I finally went to go see a psychiatrist, yeah, I was just so nervous. Like I just had really bad imposter syndrome and just kind of felt like well, what if I don't get diagnosed and I just kind of leave feeling disappointed and back to square one and don't have answers? But the doctor that I saw was really amazing. I actually wrote in my notes app a huge list of just symptoms that I have felt like were relevant and I let her know before you know, we actually got into talking that I had this list. I was like, but I'm sure that you have questions, so let's just go through your questions first. I didn't even pull out my list because I feel like the questions that she asked were extremely thorough and I felt like I was really able to share my experiences, share how I felt in the past, share how I'm feeling currently. And at the end of the appointment, she diagnosed me with ADHD. She also diagnosed me with underlying anxiety and depression, which was a little bit more surprising to me even though I kind of think like it's not super surprising. My sister and my mom both deal with anxiety and depression but the thing is I felt like I never felt as strongly as they have before in those areas and I made that very clear with the psychiatrist. I did kind of wonder, which I talked to the psychiatrist about that as well, if you know the anxiety and depression stems from being untreated for ADHD for so long and she said definitely like that definitely could you know have an impact on those areas which is something that I just have to keep in mind you know going through the process of medication but after the appointment again I just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders and I was very eager to start seeking treatment my sister takes medication for ADHD and it really did wonders for her so I was really eager to start my medication and just kind of get on with my life I feel like I was probably so annoying like the first couple of days that I you know, had been newly diagnosed because I was telling like everyone because I just felt like, I don't know, the people that are close to me, I feel like they should know because, you know, I have been undiagnosed for so long and I feel like it greatly impacts my social life. Obviously have a hard time like focusing and paying attention. So I just wanted like the people that were close to me to know that you know, I do have ADHD and I am seeking treatment for it. But yeah, I was probably pretty annoying like the first couple of days. The psychiatrist said that ADHD falls into kind of like three categories and I definitely am inattentive and impulsive. Those weren't surprising to me at all. Being diagnosed and finally seeking treatments it's been a really good experience so far. But another thing I wanted to share too is that I went to my first therapy appointment last week as well, or I guess like earlier this week because it's Saturday. I had just like reached out to a couple of different offices and nobody was really getting back to me honestly. And I reached out to like this random one just through Google and it was really nice because I just you know, sent them a little message on their forum. They ended up getting back to me via email like that same day. And I had an appointment booked the next day. So that was a really good, fast experience as well. I've just felt really lucky um, in kind of like my mental health journey that really hasn't been so much of a journey because it's been very quick. Like I feel like all of this kind of happened within I think like a month or even like less than a month, which I feel like it's unheard of. Like I, one of the reasons why I hadn't seeked help for so long is because I've heard horror stories of like it taking a year or like months for people to get help and, you know, see someone finally. But 
For me, it was a really good, like seamless, fast experience. So I am very, very grateful for that. It is expensive. It's like $175 to speak to someone for 50 minutes. So it's expensive. I think it's worth it for me because my doctor recommended it. She actually, like, she told me I, I needed to. Maybe I'll get to the point where I, I do once a month, but I, I think every other week feels good right now, especially while I'm like newly on medication. That was another thing is I am grateful that I was able to start therapy so soon and so early into, you know, my treatment experience. So I can kind of like, you know, go through that with her. But yeah, moving and then starting my whole mental health journey were two huge changes that I knew I wanted to share with you all, you know, eventually, but it had just been really difficult for me to actually turn on the camera and film especially too because like yes i really love my office space but i mean this ugly printer that is just not it and i really need to get this looking a little better like i didn't think that you would see this shelf but you totally can so i need to do something about that one thing that i definitely struggle with is if i want to do something i feel like so many things need to align before i actually do it but I took this opportunity, I took my sudden urge to just turn on the camera and film and get ready on camera as a sign to just do it. I feel like I didn't catch up as much as I wanted to. I feel like there were so many other things that I wanted to catch you guys up on. But these two updates, I mean, they were big, so I had a lot to say about them. You know, I have been gone for over two months now, but I'm still always thinking about ideas for filming. I definitely wanna showcase all of my Facebook Marketplace furniture finds. And I've also been really, really lucky thrifting recently. Like I've been thrifting so many cute things. So I kinda of wanna compile like all of my thrift finds and film that. Obviously I still wanna do, you know, makeup videos, I think. My relationship with makeup has definitely changed and you know I said earlier like it's I don't do makeup as much as I used to but I still love it like I am loving how I'm looking right now and I still love the process of putting it on I just need to figure out kind of like where I belong in the makeup space at this point because yeah I'm not interested in doing reviews I am not interested in a, a huge update is I haven't bought any makeup. The only makeup products I bought was to replace my NYX Lift and Snatch when they were on sale. They were not doing a good sale. Like they never do a good sale. I'm sorry, buy to get one free is never a good sale. But I ended up getting two new Lift and Snatches in espresso and then I got another shade in ash brown just to try but I've really stuck true to my no spend I feel really good about it but yeah next time you see me I'm definitely going to be having the background cleaned up a little bit I'm not even going to worry about it this time because I just kind of needed to sit down and chit chat and share what has been going on but yeah next time I think I definitely want to get you know something a little cuter going on back here and maybe i'll have a higher chair because this is really sitting very low right now but that is going to be it from me today thank you all so much for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i will see you next time